Hey guys, Jordan from Storage Review here. I'm in the uh, Boston booth, but I'm actually with uh, Erez from Zutacor. Thanks for having us over. You guys got some pretty cool stuff going on. I heard uh, through the grapevine you've expanded your portfolio. You're right. So happy to be here and thank you, Jordan, for yeah. uh, uh, this opportunity. We are uh, really thrilled about uh, what is happening uh, to us with regard to our uh, offering and product, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, direct-to-chip, two-phase liquid cooling, dielectric okay. cooling. And we are happy to be maybe the only one that currently offers mature product with uh, uh, future-proof, sustainable product for the mass. Okay. And uh, so I know you guys have been in the uh, CPU game for a little while, yeah. but we've moved into a new segment uh, with accelerator cooling, right? So, so actually, um, we always been, uh, for us, a processor is a processor. Yeah. It's pretty agnostic. Right. And uh, we cool whatever is hot there. Uh, yes. Is that your tagline? We cool whatever's hot. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think that it's so because it's simple. And yeah. It's, it's because it's natural boiling. Right. It doesn't really care how much heat it has because yeah. it's not flow boiling. Anyways, uh, yes. So the AI is booming. Yes. Uh, it brings the uh, accelerators. It brings the um, GPUs, and we are very happy to uh, lead this cooling industry. Very cool. Um, so I think this is, uh, what is this a cooler for that we've got here? This is a so lot of copper. Here, here we have a cold plate, a dielectric yeah. fluid that calls the H100 of NVIDIA. So that'll do an GPU. H100. Yeah. Will it do 1,000 watts? That will do also more than 1,000 watts. We'll go more than that, okay. Yeah. Whatever it needs. It's the, the shape is different because of the processor, yeah. but it doesn't limit, uh, we don't have any limitation with with the power and is that that lack of a limitation is that from the what part is, is that makes that special is that the fluid that that is uh, that's okay. going through there or, or why why don't you have to deal with the power limits like yeah. some other guys might so what um, what we're using here is boiling actually all right okay so, so it's like a super low boiling point fluid yes okay uh, 34 centigrades uh, for okay, this that's so low. we can use others so the liquid is not so important for us it's not our ip the yeah. ip or the uh, technology is around how we uh create the boiling and the okay. and the heat dissipation gotcha okay, around that so uh, yeah. does that mean that liquid goes in one side of this and gas comes out the other yeah so the refrigerant, the liquid co going here inside, okay. it's a pool boiling where only uh, we fill it and up to the end or mm -hmm. almost, and then uh, vapor only goes out. Okay. Pure vapor goes to the uh, condenser okay. part and condenses and go back again to the uh, cold plate. So it's almost kind of like a little air conditioner system, almost. Um, where you've got the, the condensing and it comes back through and it cycles and then you're removing, you're evaporating the heat, right? So yes, also air conditioning is a phase change yeah. system, but air conditioning using <laughs> compressor. So okay. you use, you take gas yeah. and you compress it to a liquid situation okay. and then uh, go to a lower pressure and it's, uh, turning back to um, to gas. Uh, here, what we're uh, we're not using compressor. Okay. So it's a natural boiling in yep. a 34 centigrade here, and um, and the only moving parts are the pumps and the fans. What kind of flow rate do you need for like a CPU? Great question. We don't measure flow rate. We okay. just need this to have liquid enough. So. Okay. We're not circulating, you know, the, the, and in terms, of, uh, in terms of the amount of liquid that we use, it tends of a water. So it's a very small amount of liquid, which is four gallons per rack. Okay. Okay. And uh, the only challenge is to, peer, is to uh, bring enough liquid here, which is not a challenge for and us. And then after it boils, it just goes and it Yes, and, and new do. liquid coming in. Very cool. That's right. Awesome. 
Well, thanks, Erez. I really appreciate you taking us through the technology here. We'll uh, link to you guys in the description if you want to learn a little bit more about the phase change liquid cooling. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more GTC comment, content, and I uh, really appreciate you having me over. Sure, we're happy to be here in, uh, with NVIDIA, cooling NVIDIA products. Wonderful. And others. And others. <laughs> Thank thanks you. Thanks so much.